Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Gordon and I'm a facial plastic surgeon. Today we're going to discuss aging and how it relates to facial plastic surgery and through knowledge what you can do to look and feel better. In a short period of time you'll understand what works, what makes sense, and what you need to know in today's world. Understanding the causes of facial aging will allow us to understand what the correct solution should be. Since aging progresses over time, different areas of the face are affected at different stages of life. So, we should have different approaches and treatments at different times of our life. To make this easier to understand and apply to yourself, I've created a timeline. So each of us can evaluate our own changes, and with your surgeon, you can define what the correct solution will be for you during your life. Put simply, facial aging is mainly caused by one force, gravity. What's up must come down, and this will explain the majority of what we see in the mirror. The other aspect of facial aging is surface changes, such as hyperpigmentation, large pores, and fine lines. Unlike purely gravity changes, surface changes are the cumulative effect of sun damage and our lifestyle. Surface treatments are entirely different and can be approached separately or at the same time as our gravity changes are approached. Unlike surface changes, which affect the texture of our face, gravity changes create folds, jowls, and eventually a loose neck, which all combine to affect the shape of our face. In our 40s, gravity changes are mainly focused around our eyes, which become baggy, and on our forehead, which furrows with creases or droops and actually covers our upper eyelid area. As 50 passes, Gravity further affects the lower areas of our face, producing folds around our mouth called nasolabial folds. This can give the mouth a downward appearance, producing a dour or sad look. Jowling or drooping in our neck is just starting in many people. From the age 55 to 65, the same process continues, with gravity changes becoming more pronounced in all the regions mentioned, producing the characteristic look of this age group. After 65, gravity has now taken away the distinction of where our face ends and our neck begins. Our bone structure is no longer obvious, and the neck is the most troubling aspect of our face. It's normal to notice our lower face and neck changes more than we appreciate our forehead changes, because subconsciously, we use our forehead muscles by furrowing our brow to keep our forehead from drooping over our eyes, which would actually affect our vision. So we notice the furrows we unconsciously create, but we don't notice the effects a loose forehead would have on the appearance of our upper eyelids because it's masked by those furrows. Surface texture changes also progress, but don't create the change in facial shape that our gravity changes do. That's why our facial shape tells the world what age we are much more than our facial lines. 